Hey London, it's uh, Blair, your midday guy, here with FM 96. And, uh, well, tragedy has struck the city of London, hasn't it? Actually, first, if you're uh, wondering what my t-shirt says, it's Master Batters. Although, for some reason, this camera's backwards, so you read it backwards. Anyway, softball season is a long way away. That's what Master Batters actually references. <clears throat> it especially feels like softball season is a long way away because of the current state of paralysis in which the city of London is engaged in. Over the past 24 hours, we have got, what, 40 centimeters of snow, perhaps more, give or take in that range. In the next 24 hours, we're supposed to see another 40 or so, perhaps 100 centimeters of snow after 72 hours has passed. That's what Environment Canada is actually starting to tell us. There's a snow squall warning in effect the roads have basically stopped. Uh, a lot of services, the buses, schools, cancellations, closures across the board when it comes to the city of London because there's just been so much snow. Doesn't matter what you want to call it. Snowmageddon. Snowpocalypse. Even snowtastrophe. Doesn't matter how you slice it. Nobody is going anywhere in the city of London. If you don't have to drive, you're not going to be doing it. Now, when I got home from work yesterday, this is what I came home to. Hopefully you're luckier than me and you've got a garage and you didn't have to shovel out a foot and a half worth of snow off of your car. Luckily, I'm close enough to work where I can just walk. Some people aren't that lucky because that bad boy even got stuck in the driveway and somebody had to come shovel me out. Anyway, it gets worse though. Because on my walk home yesterday, well, that's where I saw the true tragedy. What you're about to see is something I took a picture of at the corner of Queens and Colburn. Take a look. Yeah, a single solitary shoe in the middle of the intersection at Queens and Colburn. How it got there, I can only speculate. Maybe you know the answer. If you were to guess, perhaps maybe a cyclist in haste to get to his or her destination while well, it fell off their foot and to save their own life to drive through Snowmageddon, Snowpocalypse, Snowtastrophe 2010, they had to leave that shoe behind. Perhaps it was a passing motorist relaxing with their feet out the window. We will never know the full story as to how that shoe got to where it sat all by itself. Unfortunately, I had no time to stop and pick it up. Only to take a picture and then keep walking. Hey, I was on my own mission, all right? I had to get home, to brush up my car, and get inside. Somewhere in the city of London this evening, there is another shoe by itself, wondering where it's left or it's right is. And if you're that person with that single shoe, well, you might as well just throw it to the dog.